Oh, morning all. Sorry I'm late. God, I've just had a nightmare with my phone. I've just blocked it. Uh, so I've just had to quickly set up on my missus's phone. So hopefully you're getting this. So sorry I'm late. Oh, what a start. What a start to the day. I've knackered my phone up. And I've... But right. Hopefully you're all all right. We can get started now. Hope everyone is good. Morning, Adrian. How are you? Morning, Mirko. Morning, Phil. I've done it somehow. I'm using my wife's phone. I've got to sort my phone out later on. But yeah. Well, morning, everyone. What a win. Is the dream still on, Gareth? Yes. Is the dream still on? I bloody hope it is. We're still. I still think we're in a title challenge. I really do. Morning, Steve. How are you? Mark from Norwich. How are you? Nigel. How are you? Darren, 2 0 yesterday. Morning from. Oh, hello, Danny. You're in Australia. Morning to you. Craig, yes. What a team we are. What a team we are. Cheers, Simon. Thank you. Cheers, Gray. Thank you. Morning, Jamie. You look correct. I've just been trying to get my phone sorted. I've knackered my phone up this morning, so I've had to use the wife's phone to try and sort this out. So now, let's talk about yesterday's. Where's you at? I haven't got an app, I haven't got an app today. Uh, right, yesterday, 2-0. Couldn't believe it. Oh, unbelievable game it was. I really enjoyed being there. It is a bit cold today. It is a bit cold. I mean, the first half wasn't the best. It was like, it was good. It was a good first half. But then we just sort of wore them down. And the second half, with patience, and the second half, we did well. Um, we built up momentum. Some... Some really sexy football for the first goal. Brendan Ball, as I'm calling it. Can't moan at that. He's changed everything. Cool. Yes, I think we are the best team. Cheers, Andrew. Thank you. Heard him on Arsenal TV shouting for... Ha <laughs> So they should be. I won't be surprised. Not today. It's too bloody cold. I haven't got a pool here today. Yes. Nice golf. Cheers, Andrew. Thank you. Uh, people's man of the match. What do people think the man of the match was? I we had a bit of this after a bit of a chat afterwards. James Madison. Everyone agree with me, James Madison? I'd have loved it to have been Sui Unku, but I think James Madison was the one. Morning, Kev, how are you? Um second in the final probably second in the final shake up of an FA Cup final is two. Boom, that would be good. Brendan Ball. I know you love Brendan Ball, Phil. Um but yeah, James Madison for my man of the match, I think. Morning, Alex. How are you? Nice meeting you. Evans all day long. Morning, Heather. Yes, Madison, Madders. I'd love to do a bit, like I say, I'd love to do a bit of Sui Unku, but didn't quite, it was, he didn't have a lot to do really yesterday, did he? Made some good clearances. He won all his clearances. He won all his headers. He won all his tackles. And he had nine, he's, Pass rate was 93% pass rate. 93% for a centre half. You can't go wrong at that. Um, Vardy's four. Four in a row now. So he's, he needs another seven. He scores seven games to equal. Do you think he can do it? We've got four. The next four games are very, uh, very achievable for him to score. The games that he should score in against, I think. Oh, yeah, Paul Merson would have loved that. I've seen that. Morning, David. How are you? Hope you're well. Cags for me too, Steve. Good. I'm joined. Evan Suyuku, Madison. Suyuku, Madison. Great was brilliant, Kevin. I think we've now found great season for the treble. <laughs> Cheers, Glenn. Thank you. Yeah, 49, 50 next year. Looking forward to it. Um, yeah. The treble. Sorry, you put me off, Jason, there, thinking about that. Just think, is it possible to do the treble? We're in the quarterfinals of the Cup. We're second in the league at the minute. Do people want... Here's one question for you people out there. Do people want a Liverpool win or a Man City win today or a draw? What would be the best bet for them? I'm not sure. Um, I think a draw would be a good result, but a Man City win would be a better result because it brings them down. But then we move to third. Are people bothered about being in third or do they want Liverpool to come closer to us? I wonder what Chris Sutton is saying. Can't see. I mean, Tony Adams must be bloody 
Tony Adams and Steve Ball worked wonders with that team for Arsenal. And then look at them. Untrue. Absolutely untrue. Um, they won't know what's going on. Man City win. Yeah, I'm going on the Man City win. Don't bet against it. <laughs> I know, I won't bet against it. A draw or Man City win. Yeah. So it keeps Liverpool close to us. Yes, that's what I think. Liverpool not winning yet. The confidence around the club is amazing. It feels that we can achieve anything right now. Yeah. Well, what's that? Four consecutive league wins now? Uh, is it four league wins on the bounce? Three. I mean, we've had five clean sheets now and we had three in a row. We've now had three clean sheets in a row. I can't remember the last time we had three clean sheets in a row. Man City stuff the bin dip. Yeah, that would be nice. Here he is. The Mighty Foxes. All right, Matt. How's it going? Yes, I did see it. I saw that this morning. Draw best for us, yes. We did look a class act, didn't we? We looked huge. We, we actually looked massive, Gareth. Cheers, Terry. Thank you. Um, oh, cheers for everyone I saw yesterday. Craig Pearson, Mal Kegs, hashtag, Mr. Hashtag himself, John Squire, uh, Andrew, Alan Watson, all in the ground that tapped me on the shoulder. Even the bloke that tapped me on the shoulder and says, are you the one that does the Sunday morning show? That's me. Really need to, yeah. Really do need Chelsea to make a mistake now, don't we? That would be nice if they did. Um, also, I didn't realise we'd had five players that had played every single minute of the 12 games so far. I didn't realise... Morning, Melissa. How are you? I didn't realise we'd had five players. Um, I need a bloody fan to blow all them out of 49 and Cannon and the Fire Brigade just be there to make sure I don't catch fire. There's that many on there. And then, does any, them five players, all 100, 1,080 minutes they've played all together, Vardy, Evans, Sayunku, Smichael and Pereira, have all played every single minute. You've also got Tillemans was subbed off seven minutes from the end of one game. Other than that, that's good. Six players have started every single game. It is. It's definitely Brendan Ball, isn't it? Two touch, one touch, two touch. Yes, Melissa. Well, this I got given this one yesterday. Yours... Yours, yours came in the post. Yours are in Alcuda at the minute. This one was given to me yesterday. I didn't know I was getting this one yesterday. So, yeah, yours, are, I've been told, they came on Thursday morning, the morning we left. So I've got yours back in Alcudia. Cheers for that, Melissa. Much appreciated. But this one... Yes, yes, Chappie. It's cold, isn't it? It is bloody cold. I don't know how many times I told you. It must have been about a million times, didn't I? Yesterday. It was cold for me. It's not shorts and T-shirt weather that I normally have this time of year. We're not getting carried away. We're just playing good football. Yeah, we are. We're just playing good football. We really are. We're playing sexy football. We're playing Brendan Ball. We are playing really well. Um, I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh, yeah. Vardy. Cheers, David. Thank you. I'm going to see my grandson play football later. Uh, Thermiston. So if you're anywhere near Thermiston, where Thermiston Magpies play, just behind the back of... It used to be the old co-op. I think it's Asda now. Anywhere near Thermiston, come and see me. We should be all right. Let's have a chat while we're watching my grandson play. So, I mean, were Arsenal that bad or were we that good yesterday? What was it? I, th I think it was a bit of both. I think we were really good and Arsenal were bad. I think Arsenal were bad. Um, just going back on Jamie... <laughs> it is a big deep breath, wasn't it? Just going back on Jamie Vardy's uh, goal. That was his 91st Premiership goal. He's now 35th in the all-time Premiership goal table with 91 he's um he's just behind Scholzgaard he's level with on Scholzgaard on 91 and he's also I think it was Mark Viduka and there was one other on 92 so a couple more goals and he'll jump jump up the table yeah take it a game at a time we can push for the title yes the old it's the old ones are the best we have to um so one game at a time. What what we're now? 14 points away from safety. Let's get the 40 points. Relegation battle out of the way. Get them 40 points. I mean, we could literally have, if we win the next three or four games, we'll be safe. If we win three next three games, we'll be safe. Um, but has anyone got the answer to the question? Um, when was the last time we had three clean, sheet, three clean sheets in a row? I don't know. I can't remember the last time we had three clean sheets in a row. I don't think it was when we won the league, because I think we did concede goals, but we always scored one more than whoever. Oh, he'll get to 100 easier, Paula. Easily, he'll get to 100. 
He might have, the way he's going, he might get it done by Christmas, to be honest. Um, it'd be, it, oh, if he gets it done by Christmas, then... Uh, uh, oh, 20 goals before Christmas. I can't, I can't remember the last time anybody scored 20 goals before Christmas. They are winnable. They are winnable. We've got Brighton... Uh, next week's International Week, isn't it? Brighton on the 23rd. Um... Brighton on the 23rd. Then we've got... Have I missed it? Then Everton. Then Watford. Then Villa. And then there's one more. I can't remember who the game is after Villa. We had several 1-0. Yeah, but... We did though, didn't we, Alex? Yes, we had quite a few 1-0s. Well, there might have been, yeah. Actually, that time in April time, yes. Might have been when we won the league. Towards March, April time, yes. We had 1-0s. Yes, we did. So it could be the Premier League time, yeah. Brighton and Everton. Well, I was worried about the Palace game last week, and then I was worried about yesterday's game. I've got to stop worrying, really. Really have. West Ham. Norwich. Norwich is on the 14th, isn't it? Man City, Watford. Yeah, all the games are coming out. Oh, yeah, Matt, yeah. Let's not talk about the Everton game. Yes, I will be at the Everton game. Hopefully, I'll get my phone sorted by then. I need the put code from it, so I've, kn I've knackered it up. Tried to turn it off and on because I couldn't get my wife. I couldn't get the phone working this morning. I did the normal off and then I put the wrong code in for some reason, which I thought was my code, but do not matter. 20 goals in 20... Yeah. It's just some amazing form, isn't it? Morning from Belly Dorm. I bet it's warmer in Belly Dorm than it is me. Man City, our last game before Xmas. Ooh, that'd be a nice one, wouldn't it? I'm a bit nervous. When Yes, when Vardy got injured in his arm, but he came back on. He doesn't get injured a lot, does he? I won't quite say untouchable, Craig, but we yeah, we're not far from it, are we? We've seen everyone seems to be worried about playing us more than I think it's more the fans that are thinking, oh, a bit nervous about this a bit. I think it's just on past performances. Top by New Year. Oh, I'm not sure it'll be top by New Year, Ben. That's a bit of a that's too much of a push, but yeah, I'll see you there, Matthew. Um That that win also as well, that win at Sheffield United. Seems to be more and more impressive every game that they seem to play. They're picking up points an awful lot, they are. Um, so that win at Sheffield United seems so impressive each time Sheffield United get another result. I mean, Sheffield United are fifth. And we went to... we went So, I, yes, Liverpool Boxing Day at 8 o'clock. Strange time, that is, but yeah. I think Vardy gashed his arm from what Rogers said. All right, OK, then. Playing like, playing like we are, we can be, yeah, we are, we are, we've got confidence. We're playing, passing, possession football, we're playing Brendan Ball, um, playing it around, we've just got to have patience and wear them down and wear them down. And then, then they get worn down and pin dippers are getting results like we did when we were the league. Yeah, last minute winners and stuff like that, I know. Um, top by the end of January. It'd be nice, there's going to be a big... Especially if we beat, get something from Man City and we get something from Liverpool, then yes, it would be very nice. Um, but yeah, and also, do you know... Just see what time it is. It's going to be a quick one today because I've got to try and sort my phone out before I go out. Do you know as well that... Um, I think, yeah, I, I honestly have, and I think they will win today, unfortunately. But I'm hoping Man City do us a favour and get us some points. Uh, do you know as well, we've scored 29 goals this year. We're second in the goal-scoring charts. We've only conceded eight. Eight goals in 12 games. You sell your £80 million player and then your defence becomes better. How does that work? You sell, alleg allegedly, your best player, your best defender and you become better. Yeah, we've got a decent draw at Stamford Bridge as well. We didn't have... An out-and-out -out striker on the bench got to be the priority. Yeah, I was a bit surprised when Nacho wasn't on the bench after he was the other week. You have an interesting fact about Shionku. What? He's massive. That's that's the interesting fact about it. Um, morning, Mark. How are you? Yes, we've we always we've needed backup for Vardy all the time. We need a proper a proper striker. But who's going to sit on the bench? Who's going to sit on the bench? And 
and be the sec second choice behind Varda. Who is, really? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that, Adrian. I knew you were going to say that. Desperately need another... T yes, but, but like I said, Ada, who's, if you say a top striker, who is going to come from there, who is going to come from wherever they are and sit on the bench? Got to go. Yes, see you later. Ben, thank you. Try to be back on the bench over Nacho. Yeah, Perez is back up. Well, Perez didn't play that well yesterday, did he? He wasn't... He wasn't at his best yesterday. Um whether he, he does, whether he's not liking the role, whether he gets a chance where Vardy's there, when Vardy, if, if, fingers crossed he doesn't get injured, but if he gets injured, is Perez sneaking in there? But, right. I'm going to go because I've got to try and sort my phone out because I need my phone sorted. Sorry for being late. Sorry for being a bit short, but I've got to try and get my, so, my, uh, my phone sorted. So, I'm going to go. I will speak to you all soon. It's, I'll sit, I'm back for the Everton game. So if you want to come and see me, the Everton and Watford game on the Sunday and on the Wednesday. Yeah, it is the Wednesday. Watford game's been moved to the Wednesday now. Uh, so yeah, come and see me. And um, thanks for watching. And thank you for everyone that came to see me yesterday in the Blues Bar. Everyone that said hello to me when I was walking around. <laughs> if you're at Thermiston, come and see me. Yeah, I, didn't, I haven't seen that yet, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Got to get my phone sorted, Adrian. I need my phone. I desperately need my phone. So, it's ciao, ciao. Adios. Goodbye. Top of the morning to you. See you later.